I'm Bambi Francisco for Vader TV, the network for innovators. When Facebook launched its news feed in 2006, it was one of the most brilliant strategic moves to get its users engaged. Now a new site called FriendFeed is taking that concept but applying it across the web. And joining me to talk about FriendFeed is Paul Buhay, who is one of the early architects of Google's Gmail. He's also one of the founders and investors in FriendFeed. And um, I also should disclose that Paul is also an investor in Vader. TV. Paul, thanks for joining us. Thanks. Well, we were talking earlier about um, FriendFeed and its similarities um, with Facebook and that you can actually see what your friends are doing, um, not necessarily on Facebook, but across the web with FriendFeed. But talk about the differences um, in, in how, how, how your services um, compare to uh, the newsfeed, Facebook's newsfeed. So at a very high level, there are a lot of similarities, but the there's a very real difference in experience, which is that the uh, Facebook newsfeed is much more about uh, your friend's activities. So if someone broke up with their girlfriend or someone got super poked or whatever, whatever the activity is that's going on on Facebook, uh, friend feed is much more about content. So if a friend of yours found an interesting article in the New York Times or maybe they uploaded some pictures to Flickr mm -hmm. or they saw a funny cat video on YouTube mm -hmm. and they just want to share it with their friends, Mm -hmm. We make it very easy to do that, and then also we make it very easy just to have a little discussion surrounding that content, but with your friends, mm -hmm. uh, which is actually one of the very unique aspects of FriendFeed. There's a lot of places on the web where you can have comments and discussions, but they're typically with just kind of random people who happen to be on the site. Right. Uh, FriendFeed is it's your friends, right, and so right, right. you have discussions with your friends, and that's actually a very fun social experience. Right. I mean, there's a number of ways you can share things with your friends today or bookmark things and friends, and that's sort of another sharing component. But talk about some of the, the services out there like Dig um, or Reddit or Twitter. Um, they, they all allow you to share your experiences or, or comments, but how is yours different from theirs? How is it right. better? Right, those are, those are great services, but again, they, they have a, sort of a different flavor in that when you share something on Reddit, you're really sharing it with the whole world. Mm -hmm. uh, or if you dig something, or if you post a comment on dig, you're posting a comment along with uh, you know, a million other people who you probably don't know. Right. Uh, and so what makes FriendFeed kind of unique is uh, we integrate with all of those sites, and so if you do dig something on on Dig, or you or you like something on Reddit, we can automatically pull that into your friend feed mm -hmm. if you've configured it to do that, and then your friends see it, and you can have a little discussion just with your friends. Mm -hmm. And so even if something maybe isn't very popular mm -hmm. with the world of Dig users, it might be something that your friends find really interesting. Mm -hmm. And the discussion you have with your friends right. is also going to be very interesting because they're people you know, people right. you you have some history with. Right. And, you know, if there's a little inside joke or you go off topic, it, it doesn't matter. It's just kind of a fun thing because it yeah. isn't the whole world and it isn't, it isn't out there for everyone to, to, uh, to discuss. Now, are you creating, it seems to me you have 23 servers. I've been on the site. Um, I've actually contributed to the site as well. And now I have, um, I've subscribed to other friends, um, I, what do you call it, friend feeds, I guess. Mm -hmm. And um, it's so easy and, and easy to use, um, that, which is great. Um, you built a nice product. But it seems like you're almost creating this social network on top of the other networks. Are you trying to create the social network on top of all of the different services and social networks? Well, what we see is that it's, it's not really about social networking in the sense that most of these other social networks are. You know, if FriendFeed is more based around just if I'm interested in, in subscribing to one of my friends. Mm -hmm. So it isn't about trying to list out who all of my friends are. And so, if, for example, I just have some friend who uh, all they ever do is, is share some, you know, crazy videos that I, that I don't really like. Yeah. I can just unsubscribe from them or hide their videos or whatever it is. And it isn't a big deal because I'm not saying this person is or isn't my friend. Right. It's just a matter of, of saying these, this is interesting content to me right. from my friends. Now, it's interesting that you, um, when I signed up, you, um, it, it just seems like it's very easy to invite your friends. And mm -hmm. I mean, one of the tricks to being a, a successful Web 2.0 company is really to implement and develop tools that will really make your product viral. So I guess as you thought about building this, how, you know, if you thought about how to make this very viral and and, um, and allow for quick adoption, what did you build into your into your system? 
Well, one of the biggest things is that, as you mentioned, we just try to make it really easy to use, really easy to get started. Um, you don't really have to do much to, yeah. to get started using FriendFeed. And one of the things that, you know, I mentioned YouTube or Flickr, we try to adapt to whatever it is you're already doing on the web. And so if we're not trying to change your behavior, you can keep using Dig, you can keep using Flickr, whatever, and we just can automatically import that activity. And uh, likewise, you don't even have to visit the FriendFeed website. We, um, you can install, we have a, an iGoogle gadget that goes on your personalized Google homepage. We have right. a Facebook application that goes right. into Facebook. Okay. We can send you email summaries. And right. so what we try to do is, is really be all of the places you already are and right. also import data from all the things you're already using so that it's very easy to get started and, and sure. you, there isn't really a big commitment. Sure. Um, from the user. How do you get, for instance, for me? I mean, it's easy for me. I'm sort of an early, uh, sort of early adopter. But how do I get my friends? What's the incentive for me to get my friends using FriendFeed? Because I want to share with them, right? But they're busy doing, you know, on other services. And sure. sometimes it's a real pain to get people to to adopt the things you're using. Right. Well, uh, again, I mean, that's something that that we need to develop probably further. But a, a big part of it is just if you're sharing interesting content. Yeah. Um, you know, hopefully that's something your friends might like to see. Mm -hmm. And likewise, if you know that your friends have something interesting going on, and you might like to see that. And as I mentioned before, since it's all so automatic, mm -hmm. even if they just sign up once right. and, and configure it and, and you subscribe to them, you keep getting their updates. For, even if they never come back to friend feed, you can keep getting their updates, you know, photos they're uploading or videos that yeah. they liked on YouTube or stories that they dug or, or uh, you know, if they make a new blog post, if they have a blog, mm -hmm. you get all of that automatically. And so it's, it's just very easy to get started. Uh, and also I, I think that it's very good for these other sites because it sends, it, you know, if, if for example they're using a more obscure product like SmugMug, which is a, a photo sharing product, most people don't use it. But, but if I have an account there and I share photos, now all of my friends see it, even if they were never a Smug Mug user. And for yes. everybody out there who wants to be part of the uh, services that people can share on, on, um, on FriendFeed, they have to, pretty soon you'll have an API that they can... Right, we're going to work on making work it with. easy for anyone okay. to, to uh, share things on FriendFeed. Facebook is trying to integrate more privacy settings. What, what do you think about privacy? Uh, well, privacy is obviously very important, but I, again, this goes back to, I think, Facebook being a very different product, too. And so, you know, on Facebook, I have my, my uh, birthday and my cell phone number and things that might be a little bit private. A lot of what people are sharing on FriendFeed is, you know, I found an interesting article in the New York Times. Mm -hmm. The um, privacy concerns around something like that aren't quite mm -hmm. the same. Uh, but at the same time, some people just like to keep a low profile, and so we also offer that you can just keep your feeds private, okay. and you approve anyone who is able to see that. Three important questions from from the business perspective: um, business model. Yes. It wasn't really clear to me. It looks like advertising, maybe not, but what what's your model? Right. Well, so uh, as you as you guessed, that advertising is a likely candidate. Okay. Um, right now, really, our focus is pretty much entirely on the product and the user experience, and really mm -hmm. building something that that people want to use. Because if you if you don't have that, it doesn't nothing else really matters. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I think that advertising is a very promising possibility. Okay. Uh, but inevitably, it will require a certain amount of uh, okay. experimentation and and just working out exactly what model will work. But I think the fact that there is all of this content in there does present some uh, useful possibilities. Okay. But probably low, well, we won't even talk about the CPMs because I have two more questions. <laughs> what about the big companies? When you think about the big companies out there, say even media companies, because um, uh, Condé Nast bought Reddit. So right. um, when you think of Yahoo and Google and, and Microsoft, um, how is this disruptive to their current services? Uh, you know, I, I don't think that it is. We're, we're really trying to, I think, build a, a more synergistic, uh, if I may use a, 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 that word, uh, business where, where we're, we're, we're making all of these sites that are out there really more useful and more social. And so in the past, you know, a lot of people maybe weren't using Reddit, to, to use that example. But I'm using Reddit, and I like a story on Reddit, and it appears in my friend feed. And now all of a sudden, my friends are all seeing that there's that I'm using Reddit, and that there's mm -hmm. these stories coming in from Reddit. And so I think it it really uh, 
it really makes everything you're already using on the web a little bit more social and a little bit more useful. Okay. And last question, you raised $5 million from the, yourself and your the three other Google founders. In, uh, in one, your other, team? one other. Oh, one other founders. Google founder? There are, there are four um, founders, but only two of two us. Two from uh, Google. Okay. And then from Benchmark as mm -hmm. well, um, contributing the $5 million. What was your valuation and uh, what are you going to do with that money? Uh, the valuation was uh, $20 million post post cash okay. and we're really just using the money to continue growing the business and a lot of it is just a matter of wanting to focus on, on improving the product and 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 you know building a great company and not have to think too much about where's next month's you know yeah. the pay going to come from and yeah, so a lot yeah. of it is just kind of not wanting to think about that too much right now so that we yeah. can focus on, on the really important parts well good well good well so far so so far so good um, Paul Buhai, uh, founder of FriendFeed, thank you for joining us. Thanks. And I'm Bambi Francisco with Vader TV.